Hey guys, working on a project here, and uh, as you can see, I have the speed test screen up in front of me. And it's actually a wireless project. It's a wireless AC project, uh, and this customer wants like maximum bandwidth. And uh, you know, these speeds are getting pretty fast. So this is a Cisco access point. Uh, model number is like uh, 2700 cap. So this is actually, this is wireless AC or five gigahertz and this is pretty high end I mean it's about a five hundred dollar access point so it's, it's not super expensive but it's not definitely not low end um, and one of the issues is all my devices don't even support five gigahertz I was on there last night and so I can't even test these faster speeds for these customers because I, I can't even my own laptops none of my laptops even support it wireless A you know five gigahertz so um, I'm gonna do a quick speed test. This 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 laptop is a, it's an Intel Centrino, 6150, but it's the Mac. The, it can only do 2.4 gigahertz, and so that's the speed I'm getting right now. I only have a 100 meg interconnection, so we're 75 to 100. I, I only have a I'm running a Cisco 50 Cisco ASA with a 10 uh, or 100 megabit interface on it, so I should be. Somewhere there, okay, well let's, I guess what I'm trying to figure out is if I'm gonna get better speed, so, I mean, wireless N should be able to support 100 meg, I, I believe here, so. But actually the purpose of this video is to do, I'm gonna do an upgrade on the laptop. I'm actually gonna take a uh, module out of one of my uh, Gigabyte motherboards, it's an Intel wireless uh, AC uh, PC, mini P, or what are those, like a little PCIe, little micro PCI cards. And I'm gonna replace that, and that one is supposed to support 867 meg megabits, you know, at five gigahertz. So, um, I mean, actually, that's not bad. I mean, this, well, it's wireless. This is a good access point. <laughs> um, I know with my Cisco, my other Cisco one that I have, my this, this I, I have a wireless G, and I can't get nearly close to that. So, um, sorry, I'm pretty, probably rambling here, but okay. So I'm gonna upgrade the card in this thing and hopefully I get some better speeds with this thing um, yeah because I mean everybody's starting to get this 5 gigahertz stuff so I need to either buy a new laptop or upgrade this laptop but this is pretty good it's a Core i5 it's had it for a couple years and it's 16 gig RAM and solid state drive so it's still a pretty really fast laptop so um, plus I already, I already have the wireless AC card so um, I don't even know if it's going to work in this laptop or not so I guess we'll see Okay guys, back on my test bench now. So I don't know if you can see that little card in there. My finger. That's a wireless AC, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz card in this motherboard. And uh, like I said, I don't really, this is a spare computer I have. Which I never use the wireless anyways because I always prefer direct wire over wireless. So um, I'm going to take that card out and see if I can get it to fit into my laptop. Okay guys, so on all some laptops you can get to the wireless pretty easy, but on this Sony laptop I had to take the whole uh, lower case off or the back case off. And that's the wireless module. So I'm going from a magnifying glass. I don't know if you can see that. This thing will even pick up on that. But I'm going from a... Uh, I know it's 6150. WiMAX is what the hell it's called. Um, and I'm going to a, uh, I think it's a 7250, so, um, I might get that off, pop that off, and they're both Intel, so that's a good thing, and, uh, hopefully this will work. And I'll do another speed test. Hey yeah, guys, got the new module in, and what I'm thinking is, the stuff I learned from ham radio so far is that usually, uh, the antennas are tuned for a specific bandwidth. So, I mean, I can't imagine this being the optimal antenna for whatever, for 5 gigahertz, because it never came with 5 gigahertz, so. Don't know if that's going to affect anything or not, but we will see. I flip this around and test it, and uh, I'm not going to do, like, any, uh, I'm not going to put it back fully together with the screws and everything. I'm just going to put in the stuff that I need, because in case it doesn't work for some reason, I don't want to take the whole thing apart again, so. Um, all right, get that going. Flip around, keep the battery out, plug it in, and fire it up. We'll do another speed test. Okay, so I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's already detected the new 
I didn't have to even load any drivers, so we already had them built in. The Windows 10, uh, Intel dual band wireless AC 7260. So that's what it was. All right, cool. So let me uh, go back and do a connect. Well, alright, alright guys, so um, I'm going to do another speed test, but I don't probably expect to see too much of a difference just because my internet's not that fast, but I'll show you guys another speed test once I get to a place where I have 500 megabits. So, well, it's every, it's about 460, but, you know, they always sell you 500 megs or whatever and you don't get the full thing, so, alright, yeah, about the same, I mean, nothing... Yeah, a little bit faster. I mean, that just could be my internet, though, too. So I, I don't know. I won't know until I get uh, over there and I'll do another speed test. But, I mean, supposedly this router is where the access point is supposed to support 1.3 gigabits. So, um, all right, cool. So, um, yeah, I'm going to play with this and I'll go back when I get to uh, install this at the customer site. Yeah, we're still in the process of wiring the building and uh, getting the uh, phone system and everything else so um, I'll be doing a, re a retest there so cool